the best way to get better at programming is to practice. So in this example, we're going to be looking at Boolean logic operators, specifically the OR operator. You can see the question here. As always, this file is available for download using a link in the description. And you can pause, work on the problem, and then check to see if you got it right. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We have two inputs that we need to get from the user. The first is we're going to ask, are you a member of our rewards program? The second is we're going to check to see if we have the manager's approval. And now we'll do our test. So this is still going to be an if statement since it's working for a condition. And if rewards dot upper remember we're going to use upper just to make it a little bit easier to work with equals equals yes for this whole thing to be true either you have to be part of the rewards membership or you have to have manager's approval so we're simply going to type or just like and in our previous module where you saw as a keyword is built in we also have or and or says either the left hand side or the right hand side has to be true. If either one of them is true, the whole thing is true. So we're going to write manager's approval upper equals equals y. And if either one of those is true, we're going to print out you get a 15% discount. Notice we have that up here, so I'm just going to copy and paste. And then we're going to have an else. If neither one of those is true, we're going to print what? A message here. Once again, copy and paste just to make our lives a little bit easier. Now you might notice that, hey, that 15% is showing just a little bit off. It's a different color. We're not going to worry about that. So I'm going to run this real quick. Am I a member of the rewards program? Yes. Do I have manager's approval? Yes. You get a 15% discount. Notice that the editor, it didn't like that percent, but it prints out just fine. That's because percent can sometimes be used other places and it just got a little bit confused. So that's why I said we're going to ignore it. Let's do a couple more tests. Am I a member of the rewards program? Yes, this is something I'm going to do in lowercase. Do I have manager's approval? No. Notice I still get the 15% discount. That's because I'm a member of the rewards program. Notice that even though I put in lowercase, Python went in and said, hey, I'm going to use that upper. It's going to make it easier for you. And it works. Let's run this one more time to test. Member of the rewards program? No. Do I have manager's approval? Yes. Notice that one is uppercase and one is lowercase. Doesn't matter. That upper is handling it all. I still get the 15% discount because I got the manager's approval. Let's clear the screen just so I can see this a little bit better. We have one more combination to test. And that is, no, I am not a member of rewards program. And no, I do not have the manager's approval. So there is no discount available today for me. Okay. The only way or is false is if everything is false. What's interesting about the Boolean operators, it is a shortcut. So as soon as it sees a true, it doesn't bother to test the others. And I could have two or three or four ors. Once one is true, the whole thing is true. So it doesn't bother testing. It's called shortcut logic. And it makes our programs just a little bit faster. Not as important nowadays with super fast computers, but it's a great thing to have if you get really complicated logic or if you have to do the logic over and over and over and over again. So it's just a little thing that Python gives us to make our code faster. We've got more programming examples coming up, so stay tuned.